might be asking, what is this dude doing on the beach without the shirt with the frisbee? What is wrong with him? Well, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm traveling here in the Galapagos Islands and I am here to show you how to quit elbow dipping. And to do that, I need to show what happens with the muscles, all right? So it's a very, very valid and common question. Why do I have the elbow dip and what to do about it? Well, first of all, it might not be the biggest problem you have. There are many good players like Ricky Wysocki, Calvin Heimberg, uh, Matt Orum. They all have a little bit of elbow dip there and they're doing just fine if you ask me. But if your elbow dip is like this and you end up throwing nose up as a correctional movement, then you have a problem and then it needs to be fixed. But first of all, what causes it? And I think it's about language and imagery. Because when you think of a word like reaching back, you automatically think like you have to reach back like this, pull your arm back. And then when you think about pulling, you think about pulling like that. For me, when I go to the gym and I have a pulling day, I do pull-ups, chin-ups, rows, everything like this. And this is pulling. Pulling means that I'm using my back muscles like this. I cannot pull further than this, but I do want to squeeze my back together like this, open my chest like this. If you think about pulling the disc, you might be thinking the same as I do. Pulling, and look at what happens. Now I'm pulling the disc. I'm squeezing my scapula, I'm using my back muscles like this, and that makes my elbow go down because this is how we pull. To get rid of this, we have to stop pulling the disc. So what to do instead? Well, first of all, we don't want to use our scapula at all. There are two reasons for this. Now, if you pull your scapula like this, when you throw, you are actually making your club, if this is a golf club, or a baseball bat shorter. We don't want to have a shorter club. We don't have, want to have a shorter baseball bat. We want to have as much leverage as possible because that makes it go harder, faster, longer. So don't pull your scapula like this. Don't ever use your scapula to throw. The second reason is that if you do this, the elbow goes down. So instead, push your scapula out. Make your arm longer like this. This makes your arm longer. If you look at the best players and there's still pictures right at the point of release, they all have their shoulder out at the release. It means that they are not pulling, but actually pushing the elbow out. This is what you want to do. It looks like this from this angle. Elbow is out and then you throw there, no look. I'm not turning my head like this, I'm throwing the disc there and afterwards I only turn my head. This is how it goes. If you end up pulling the elbow in like this, you are not using the leverages you have, you're actually making your arm shorter. And also you're tensing all of the front side muscles. And if you look at your throws on a slow-mo, you probably look something like this. Everything is tense here. You're leaning over the brace leg and you're tensing everything because now you're pulling. You're using the shoulder muscles. You're using the back muscles. But everything you actually need to use is here. This is what you want to do. You see, there is no pulling here. There is a whip motion like this. Whip. From this angle, it looks like this. 
at no point am I pulling anything. I am whipping. If you whip, you are not pulling anything. If you whip like this, you are not pulling anything, okay? There's no pull in the throw here on out. And because we are a whip, we want to be as loose as possible. There is no tension in the whip. So when you throw and you don't want the elbow dip, just plant firmly and then sling out like this. What I'm doing is I push the elbow towards the target at about 11 o'clock because I'm a righty. And then I just let the disc go there. I'm not looking at the target because again, if I'm looking at the target, I'm tensing my neck and my shoulders and everything. So I'm not over rotating and turning everything here. Also, I'm not tensing my head. I'm just not turning my head. It will turn eventually and at the right moment and the arm will sling out at the right moment because I'm not tensing anything. If you are pulling like this, you will most likely end up late releasing and most likely you will end up nose upping if that's even a word i don't know maybe it is please like subscribe share do all the maneuvers to get me more viewers because when i get more viewers i can make more videos and i can make more money because i'm greedy <laughs> all right uh have a nice time there i will enjoy my rest of the time in the Galapagos. Bye.